Hey guys, welcome back to Dee's Reality. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but a goodie and still rocking with your girl, I truly appreciate it. So today we're going to create this DIY canvas and um, these are the materials you're going to need. I got this canvas from Hobby Lobby and as you, it's a 30 by 40. It was, the original price was $34.99, but I used my 40% off coupon, so this huge canvas was only $19 or $20. You're gonna need some painter's tape, some paint, colors of your choice, um, some glitter, some brushes, and um, yeah. And I have this rolly, but I didn't use it, but just in case, so yeah. I took this canvas and spray painted it with the Valspar Metallic um, spray paint. I took it out back and I spray painted the entire canvas with this. It was really pretty. It has a nice high gloss shine to it. Um, and I wanted it to shine through um, the other colors that I'm gonna apply later. Um, this you know, in my head was a good idea, but once I spray painted the canvas, the other colors did not stick um, to it very well. So here is the final product, and I let it dry for about 45 minutes before I began to tape down the canvas and um, apply the other colors. So as you can see, it's really pretty up close. Yeah, so here I began just taping down with the painter's tape. You can do it any kind of design you want. You know, you can do stripes, square, circle, dot, whatever you choose. I just did random shapes and I just placed the um, tape just randomly across the canvas to my liking. I then took my colors of choice and just began to place them randomly um, throughout um, the canvas in different shapes. Um, this tape didn't do so well in creating the crisp lines that I was going for, but you know, the imperfections at the end made the canvas what it is. I still like the canvas. Um, I chose yellow as an accent color, but I'm not feeling it anymore, but the canvas is gonna still go on the wall and serve its purpose until I figure out a different color. Now, I recommend you guys using acrylic paint. Um, I used some leftover paints that I had around the house and it did not stick to the canvas well. As you can see, it's kind of like wet looking. So I had to go in and dipple or stipple it on there with the sponge and two or three layers. Um, I used some latex paint and that's not a good idea. So I don't recommend you guys using latex paint, just use the acrylic paint and you guys should be good. So here I'm just gonna go through and apply these colors randomly. I tried my best not to put um, two colors side by side or on top of each other. I really wanted to um, space the colors out as much as possible. Black was not originally a part of the plan, um, as in, you know, big color on the canvas. I did want to go in and outline each shape in a, a, like a pinstripe black line, but you know, things change and I just went with the flow. Um, so yeah, I didn't mind it and it actually looked better. And as you can see here, I'm just adding an extra piece of tape because I wanted one more, you know, spot of black. So I added another piece of tape and you guys can, you know, as you're doing this, if you want to add more shapes, more squares or boxes, whatever, you can just add tape and, you know, improvise as you go along like I just did. Be sure to paint the sides of the canvas as well as the top and the colors that you do around the border. And as you can see here, I'm taking this light gray paint and just adding it 
um, whatever. And this is the only color that actually stuck to um, the canvas like it was supposed to. Um, and I only had to do one coat of this. All the other colors, I had to do at least two coats. Besides the black, I believe. So I'm just gonna go through and continue to paint these colors. And I like the light colored gray and the contrast it gave between the dark gray and the silver metallic um, background. So once I completed all the squares, um, filled them all in, I have two big pieces left. So um, I took this Mod Podge and I'm using it as a base so that the glitter that I'm gonna apply um, has a base to stick to. You guys can use glue, Elmer's glue, or anything else that you have. I had this Mod Podge on hand, so I just grabbed that and applied a thin layer to the canvas. Um, this Mod Podge dries in a high gloss, so um, the glitter will shine through really nice. So I just um, applied a thin layer of this Mod Podge, and then I um, take the glitter that I also purchased from Walmart for like two or three dollars. Um, is this, you know, this extra fine glitter here, and I just sprinkled a thin layer of glitter onto the canvas and I tried my best to stay within the lines because the other paints were still drying and I didn't want any of the glitter to get on any of the other wet surfaces even though um, it did get on the black diamond shape at the bottom it wasn't too much so I didn't mind but yeah, so we just add a thin layer of this glitter and I added it to the triangle um, to the right also. And let it dry. I let it dry for like um, four hours before I took the painter's tape off. The tape didn't um, hold as good. The edges didn't come out as perfect, but the imperfections to me makes the canvas what it is. I did have to go back in and touch up uh, one of the white squares and the big gray square in the middle um, because like I said, it was latex paint and as I took the paint off, it began to peel. But in the end, I like it, you know, self-made, it was cheap and expensive. For the total project, I think I spent um, like $30. I mean, you can probably buy a nice can. What is for that price as well, but I enjoy making it myself. So if you guys like it, um, please thumbs up, share the video, and I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, and stay tuned for another DIY. Leave any comments below and I'll be sure to get back with you guys. Until next time, peace.